Welcome back. This is Ken Boddy at the 35th Annual Waterfront Blues Festival. We are having a wonderful time. The weather is great. The music is fantastic. And we are back at Tom McCall Waterfront Park. This time, now that we're here, we're going to be talking to Tony Bronigle. He's an award-winning, uh, Grammy Award-winning drummer and producer. Uh, played with the Phantom Blues Band and Taj Mahal last night. And you just did your own set here about an hour ago. How do you feel being here at the Waterfront Blues Festival in Portland, Oregon? Portland, Oregon's a wonderful place. I've come here so many times and played, and they have great crowds. The, the, the people here love music. They're very passionate about everything. And, and it's I think it's obvious by all the great local talent that's here. You know, Curtis Salgado and, and Lloyd-Jones and people are on the stage right now. And uh, it's always been fun for me to come here. And I've, I've, I wouldn't say it was a home away from home, but several times I've come here and stayed for a few days and gotten lost in the place, you know what I mean? It's really great. The culture is wonderful here. And you're originally, uh, you are in L.A. now, right? I live in Los Angeles, and uh, I've been there since 1979. Uh, I was originally from Houston, Texas, and lived in New York for a while, and in London for a while, and, you know, kind of jumping all over the world doing what I do. Thank God. Very lucky for being able to do that, yeah. Yeah, well, you're not only a drummer, uh, you're also a producer. So what kind of projects are you working down in uh, Los Angeles now? Well, I'm working on a, a new record for a, a guy named Coco Montoya. He's had a whole bunch of albums out, and I produced a couple of records on him. And that's my next uh, project, uh, Richard T. Bear, a few other things going on I can't really talk about quite yet. Um, we have a new album uh, in the can for Taj Mahal that we're about to turn, you know, make happen into a public situation and uh, most importantly I think for us right here this weekend is this is the release of our new record for Phantom Blues Band and we made this on the Little Village Foundation uh, with Jim Pugh who's our new keyboard player since we lost our wonderful keyboard player last year Mike Finnegan to cancer uh, we decided to step up stand up on our own and we made our own new record that that comes out this weekend, in fact. Um, Phantom Blues Band, Blues for Breakfast on Little Village Foundation. It's, it's in memory of Mike Finnegan, our keyboard player, and all the proceeds go to the Mike Finnegan School of Music in Salina, Kansas at the Stiefel Theater. We just talked to Jim Pugh about half an hour ago on this very segment here, and he was telling us about the Little Village Foundation and what they do. Uh, just a wonderful thing. What is it uh, that you enjoy about playing in front of these big festival crowds? Wow. You, you can't get away from the electricity of that many people in front of you. You know, it's not like you're in a little bar and you see 50, 60 people. That's fun, too. But you look out there last night, I think it was 10,000 people in front of us. It was packed all the way to the back. And, and, and you, in moments of while you're doing it, you take it for granted, like, oh, yeah, we're playing a gig. Yeah, okay, yeah. And then you look out there and you go, as far as you can see, it's people, you know, and that energy starts coming at you, and it did big time last night. And since COVID, this is probably the biggest crowd I've played in front of for two and a half, three years now. You know, that's what a lot of people have been saying, and it's uh, it's a homecoming for a lot of musicians, not only because it's here in Portland, but only uh, also because people are out here and they're enjoying the music. So, yeah, yeah this is uh, this has been great. Back to you.